In this following demonstration, we will show another example of mask attack doing iOS URL hijacking, and we will also explain the mechanisms used behind the attack. We can see this phone is still running a beta version of iOS 8.2 and is not jailbroken, as shown in the previous video. At the beginning, the phone has the official Chrome browser app, and also the Google Inbox app. When we open the Google Inbox app and tap on any link in an email, you can see that the Google Chrome app will launch and load the page as normal. Now, we install another mask attack app called Crossbone. Note that Crossbone may or may not be replacing some existing app. It is just a game and it may potentially come from the official app store or some third party website. With the Mask Attack app installed, I will again open the Google Inbox app and tap on any link. Again, we see the text, you are hijacked at the top to show that the user has been hijacked. iOS launched the Mask Attack app instead of the Google Chrome app to load the page. The attacker will now be able to mount many attacks, including stealing and modifying sensitive content without the user's knowledge. Why this is happening is because when the user clicked on the link in Inbox, Inbox asked iOS to launch the Google Chrome app using a specific URL scheme. However, unknown to the user, the app installed through Mask Attack also registered for that specific URL scheme. Because of this, iOS will launch the Mask Attack app instead of the original Chrome app. Apps from the official App Store or Enterprise Signed Apps are both capable of carrying out this attack. Read more details on the mechanisms behind the attack at the FireEye blog.